Today we're throwing chairs at Signal Ops, developed by Space Blood Dynamics Corporation. That's written in Panda 3D, which is actually Python based. So one of the for I think this is actually the first Python game we've reviewed on this system. So yep. how, you can pick it up for fourteen ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine euros or two thousand five hundred ninety nine thousand eight hundred sixty two billion Zimbabwe pesos. <laughs> Or whatever the hell it is. Dollars. Uh, according to the description, are you ready to be put to the test? If deemed worthy, you will be signed an officer. The shadowy halls of Facility 7C. Ooh, sounds sexy. You will lead, <laughs> remotely lead a squad of operatives on daring espionage missions to plant evidence, steal secrets, assassinate targets, and perform sabotage all for the glory of Dark Father. And you know, which one I, of which something... I, which I think sounds a little bit racist. Just a bit of trivia regarding Panda 3D. You know who's funding that? Disney. <gasps> wow, who cares? <laughs> who the hell cares? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, for those of you oh who haven't God. been here before, we need our chair explanation. Kill the chair explanation. One chair means it's shit. Two chairs means that it's bleh. Three chairs means that it's pretty good. And four chairs means that it's orgasmatronic. We also have our four categories, which we use our chairs <laughs> to rate things on. Categories of Doom are Mix with the Working. Does it work? Does it work well? Shiny and Sounds. Does it look nice? Does it sound like? Sound nice. Controls are controls and fun is fun. And if you can't figure those last two out, then leave. Anyways, <laughs> right so now. for Signal Ops, this very, very bizarre ass motherfucking game, then did it make with the working? Did it make with the working? Well, I have to say, unlike <coughs> some people, I had no issues running it on our vanilla Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, NVIDIA powered test box and minimum system requirements. Take a shot, because it is for chairs. j -Man. Yeah, I worked on my Fedora system, AMD processor, NVIDIA 670 superclocked. Yeah, no issues. Four chairs. And it goes downhill mm. quick. Yeah, so on the calculator, that's a, an i3, 2.4 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM, and uh, an AMD 5650HD. Running. Running Corora 19, Bruce. And, Good eye, uh, Bruce. Good eye, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. With multiple monitors the game had a teeny tiny bug that wouldn't allow it to even start before it was patched or you would go hunting for the config file and disabled full screen because that's the only way it ran and the sole reason that jordan gave it four chairs is because he only installed the game after that patch went through yeah two man. chairs for me i, I was actually tempted two to chairs think because the developer went so far as to recommend I use the Wine version. There will be a link in the show notes for that particular thread. Well, um, actually, I was actually tempted to ding it three, ding it a chair just because if you all tab out of it, it glitches out, but that's kind of par for the course for a lot of these Linux games. But anyways, that is three chairs on average for Mix with the Working. Next up is Shiny and Sounds, the visual and auditory aesthetics, but not the olfactory aesthetics, as I was going to say, because this game really does stink. But then, Shiny and <laughs> Sounds. Shiny and Sounds. Let's take a look at the video here. Graphics, the meh, because I say that <laughs> lovingly. I really try to see where they're going with the art style, trying to dig it hard. But it only dug a grave. Um, could never click with me. I mean, it just seemed kind of lazy at points with some of the models. Voice work, surprisingly. Um, meh plus, definitely, <laughs> on that. I, I, it's not complete shit. Um, now, the actual content of said voice work, we'll have to get into that a bit later. But for shiny and sounds, you know... That's our match here right there. Dos. Dos. Dos chat. Yeah, I, I, well, real, I was actually really impressed with the voice acting in this game. Uh, props for being decently voice acted. 
The game does look like shit, though. I get they're trying to do, like, a unique art style, but it doesn't work. It sucks. It looks like crap on my seven seven or on my 670 super clock. Ven is the one with the 770. I was just <laughs> staring at it in the freaking Canada Computers catalog because it's 300 bucks. And I really need to stop myself from buying it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this game two chairs for the looks Double and sounds. The, the the voice acting is nice. I like what they're trying to do with the humor. It, seemed, it was kind of forced at times, but it's not three chairs. It's not one chair, so it's flat in the middle there. Mah! Pedro. Yeah, I kind of have to agree. And the character movement is choppy as balls. I mean, it could be the calculator, Probably. but the Probably. graphics are pretty low res, so I'm not sure. And again, voice acting in this game, thumbs up. Real good job. And I do like the presentation of the game. I mean, the graphics and what they try to do with it, it's like you're playing a game it's someone that's playing with soldiers' lives. It's sort of a social, wow. political statement uh, on the games industry as a whole. And I could see it. Unfortunately, the execution was <laughs> not so what good. What does this have to do with the looks and the sounds? Two chairs. Two chairs. That's two chairs yep. on across the board for... Signal Ops. So, now, now the clusterfuck begins. <laughs> <laughs> Controls, then. I, I hear you have some things to say about this. Controls. Now, looking at the video, you might assume that Android controls could not be that damn difficult. You'd be <laughs> wrong. <laughs> so, um... Gamepad support. It, if I politely called it, as I did here in the show notes, a jumbled mess, I'd be right. Excluding controller. At first, you know, when I start a Linux, any title, especially under Steam, this is always sitting over here. I'll reach over and literally poke at a button or two and says, is that, is that doing anything? I was like, oh, it is. This one, it moved a bit. And I was like, all right. Tried it, then I found, move, 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 and I was like, this is not necessarily a first-person shooter. I might be able to get away with a lean-back controller experience. Then I ran into the fuck-mothering door. I was like, right. <laughs> scroll wheel. I was like, um, yes. hmm. Uh, that's, because you use the scroll wheel to open you know, the door. You know, you know you're doing something wrong in the game when you, you've resorted to going like this? On all the buttons, <laughs> to, just to see if you, anything would move. Then I finally resorted doing that. Keyboard uh, plus dribbled the only way to go, but the default keyboard layout is completely mental. And just going through the tutorials, I was taking notes. I was like, so I got to move this guy. You left click twice, right click once, space bar, E, one, right, uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, it hurt my brain organ too bad, so you only get one chair. One, yeah. Th th these controls are really ass backwards. Or bass backwards, as I put in the show notes. Bass Cruel backwards. and unusual punishment. Oh my, oh, I, I, I even, uh, so I, I, I saw this as like a first person game. So I'm like, okay, I gotta go with keyboard and mouse. And Within five minutes of me playing through the fucking tutorial, I found myself mashing on the keyboard trying to figure out what does what. <laughs> because, gee, and, and the, the fucking co the, the control options in the menu doesn't help either. It's like, uh, okay. You have to use the what scroll wheel to open do? doors. Space is your interact button. It's it's just all over the place. And there's there's so much context sensitivity for these controls that something you think works doesn't work. I... I when, when you're going through the training missions trying to command your dudes, uh, you're supposed to, like, control more than one person at a time. It it doesn't even work half the time. I, so I, you're saying 20% yeah. of the time? 20% of the time. It works 100% of the time. <laughs> but, um, yeah. One chair for controls. What the fuck? The game. All right. <laughs> yeah. On my end, I didn't even try to use this thing because it was pointless. 
Uh, For your audio uh, listeners, uh, uh, he was holding I, I, his... I do have to add, I eventually did try it with the Xbox controller. No. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, so the first thing I do whenever I start a new game is go to the options menu and go to the controls. Why? Controls. Because, see this? This is my right hand. I cannot use, you know, Stupid. a mouse with this. So I need the arrow keys. And thankfully, this game actually allowed me to bind the arrow keys to move my character around. And so I went through the control section and I didn't have as much trouble as Ven and Jordan did. Except for one thing. Uh, the game comes configured with the alt key to enable you hold the alt key to enable the cursor in game. Now try holding the alt key under Linux and then clicking on a window with it. See what that does. Shit's not it. gonna fly around here. And uh, this is probably the first game that I actually had to increase the sensitivity on my gerbil here. And I ended up realizing that it's best to just leave the sliders around halfway up and use this button right here to toggle the DPIs to a higher value because that's the only way it was even manageable. So for me, it gets two chairs. Very generous from Pedro, but it's still yes. one chairs for the controls. Now for our final subjective category, fun. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. Ben, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you have fun? Fun. Well, uh, I think, J-Man, you're going to be able to back me up on this during your segment, but uh, literally, I'd clock 30 minutes on the game because I paused it. I, I took a moment to take a break because I was like, this is taking for fuck mother and ever. And then I looked at the clock and I was like, I've been playing this game for 30 fucking minutes and I haven't played the game yet. I'm still in <laughs> walking around in this tutorial bullshit. Um, I, I didn't get a copy of Manual Simulator. No, I mean, <laughs> seriously, just just write this shit out. I'm not necessarily a clever man, but I, I can figure this stuff. I can read. I don't need, you know, 30 minutes. Uh-uh, I squirreled out too many times during that. Uh, and when it comes out to the fun, um, I get what the game is about and how to do it. It seems overly complex, and the forced humor is I, and I was like, you know you want to see something that's like genuinely witty and funny stanley parable that's witty and funny yes. this like i said the voice acting all right content uh -uh. just too heavy-handed with his like uh, didn't even get a chuckle out of me so for the fun category let's be fair let's be honest with ourselves this is a one chair game yeah i've pretty much gonna have to agree with Ven on this the game is boring i noped out of the tutorial because i can't figure out what the fuck is going on half the time <laughs> and half the time the controls aren't even working so uh, i i don't know what kind of fucking madman at disney decided this is a game <laughs> worth investing money in i don't know maybe 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 mickey was doing quite a bit of coke and <laughs> saw this and it's like oh that's some good shit you should fund this game. Oh. Because in, in my mind, South Park is reality, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I, I barely made it 20 minutes and just start to finish gameplay. Ugh, one chair. Yeah. I kind of have to agree with you guys on this one. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting something along the lines of Commandos 3 with the slightly more stylized graphics, you know? But instead, I got frozen synapse with textures. One chair. Because I did not like frozen synapse. All right, so that concludes our review section of the review segment. So, one chair for fun. So... Well, I'm just going to total this up. This is a one-chair game. Do not buy this game. We got free keys for this. We're going to be perfectly honest. You have no reason to pick up this game whatsoever. It is shit. It is crap. Do not buy it. Do not even look at it. It's horrible, <laughs> horrible, 
horrible stuff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, but, what if we're buying gonna... gifts for people we don't like this Christmas? Uh, okay, I then just, you can I, get I, them I, this I game. I just send them bombs. <laughs> Hi, NSA. You can get them this Hi, game. Hi, NSA. But uh, I, I wait for the winter sale to come along before you buy this game for your worst enemy or something. Just uh, don't buy it full you, price. You, just Actually, you know, you know what? If you wanted to give a gift to your, for your worst enemy, you could go up to them and kick them in the balls, and it would be more entertaining yes. for them than this game. Yeah. Or kick them in the badge, whatever. <laughs>